How's it going people? I'm Pwnstar and welcome to Pwnstar Plays Red Dead Redemption 2 Side and Story Missions Part 2. In this video I'll be starting a couple of side missions, one with Irish Sean where we rob a homestead and another where I'll be helping out a very eccentric British actor. I'll recover a debt for Strauss and finally link up with Dutch for a story mission. Enjoy. Is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well. In that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Let's go do a sword mission then, with Sean. Okay, fella. Right, follow me. Yeah! Go rob a homestead. I'll take it. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. Alright. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. I'll keep getting a prompt to speak to him, so I might as well keep doing it. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked down in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much further. 
Better be worth it. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Well, might as well get me sniper out one of them here. He's got a shotgun ready and waiting for you, Sean. Be careful. Hey there! Oh. Oh. I want to give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big property alarm and headed this way. There were dozen of them. Coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Oh, it's shit. Here come. Cover, to cover. Come out with your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't you? I ain't armed. I suppose I've got to interrogate this guy. Tell us where you stash your money and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. What the devil are you looking at? What the fuck? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. No. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped, and now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Is that it? <laughs> it is, yeah? Easy, whoa. They done to you. Come on now. 
Come on now. We've got a thunderstorm coming. point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. <laughs> what is the greater conjuring trick? Lassuing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps something mundane into something extraordinary it's the difference between prose and poetry it's alchemy we're selling dreams dear boy well as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. Uh, but, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. Seems safe. I can find a tiger in some shrubs. It's a... Uh... Oh shit. Oh, darn. I found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well. Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. 
Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she was the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Shut the doors. each other sure did mr margaret jolly good jolly good you know tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing i beg your pardon it's grease paint makeup but playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal you're gonna want to be a lot more careful strappy eight king mr margaret i saw her do it i always thought they got along oh she liked him just fine she licked her chops and asked for seconds Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary, bloody lame. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. You seen a dog, a big dog around here? A dog? I don't know what I seen, but they got it trapped in the barn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat! <laughs> it looked like a lion to me! That's a dog in there! Dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside! Let's go. That ain't no fucking dog. Get out there, quick. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this.
This time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. It was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the live? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Uh. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. <laughs> So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Gwen Hughes, start what? picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't, I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? But you want another. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I, I'll get you your money, but, uh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Don't leave me now. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. It's gonna rub a okay. church. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Oh, that's even worse. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, <laughs> that's grim. He's gonna dig up a dead body to get the money in. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! <laughs> Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now 
Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. God, he really is digging up a grave. That's grim, man. Oh, I've already told you to clear off. Health course running a little low. Ought to see somebody coming. Sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. There's them that's born to it, there's everyone else. Uh huh, that's how it is. Oh, hopefully, I won't get no trouble off these two. Excavation work. Did you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. I know you carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. <laughs> Come on. I knew. <sighs> Oh, so uh, I hope this hole does. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. Me neither. All right, well, uh. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. 
Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yeah. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh, okay. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Oh, I can hear the floors buzzing around the corpse. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, it's getting awfully oh, misty. The Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. 
I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill... Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. They split up. We won't catch the rider. Grab the other fella. You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. I'm trying not to run through the swamp with him, I don't want him to fall in and drown. Where's the wagon? Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, think you're real funny, don't you? 
Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Reckon one or two sticks should do. I'll deal with the other stills. As you were. Just a second! Oh shit! Cheeky son of a bitch. I can only... and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here with our friends known as the Shine Song. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, quick look at a few bodies on the way, though. A nice little shoot out there. Quite pleased with that. My dead hole was on point as well. I'm not going to loot them all, I'll be here all day. Let's roll. Or let's ride. Oh, 
But my health core, my stamina core keeps depleting quick, man. I'm gonna have to get some supplies from camp. Thanks for helping out. But me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we. Are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? <laughs> okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Come on, Tennessee. Yeah, I'll see you later then, yeah? Yeehaw! Whoa. I never knew you were quite 
so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Well, at least I'm back at camp. Thanks for watching. Join me again in the next video for some more side and story missions. I'll see you then. Take it easy.